just one day before their wedding. A local couple lost their Sevierville apartment in a fire. Yeah, a section of River Park Apartments off Old Knoxville Highway catching fire Friday afternoon. Flames seen shooting through the roof of the three-story building. Now, the blaze happening just hours before a local couple's rehearsal dinner and one day before their wedding. Six on your side reporter Elizabeth Kubel speaking with the couple this evening after they went through a whirlwind weekend, obviously a whirlwind of emotions, Elizabeth. Absolutely, Kristen. Chaotic is actually the word that they used to describe the last few days. But Lauren and Justin Smith didn't let this fire stop them from celebrating their big day. They told me today they're still emotional, but tackling this next hurdle together as husband and wife. From the pictures, it is impossible to tell what the 24 hours prior were like for Lauren and Justin Smith. The newlyweds tied the knot on Saturday, just one day after their apartment complex went up in flames. We had no idea what was going to come next. Um, of course, I'm thinking um, his suit is in our apartment, all of our decorations are in there, everything to um, prepare our wedding was in there basically, except my wedding dress. But with the help of first responders who were able to save a bag full of decorations and the clothing company that overnighted a new tux, the Smith wedding went on as planned. In fact, the couple said it was perfect. We just tried to forget it for a day so that we can enjoy ourselves because um, after waiting for this moment for six years, um, we couldn't let this tragedy ruin our day. It's obviously not the wedding weekend they imagined, unable to go home to their apartment, which is damaged by water and smoke. We were told there was um, probably two to three inches of water in the floor. Uh, most furniture is um, unsalvageable. And it's, it's just, it looks like a tornado ran through. But this couple was determined to not let that stop them. Because even if they had nothing else, they have each other. And now they're taking on the next challenge together. Even though it was tragic at first, uh, it turned into something so memorable and um, so wonderful that we got to share with our family and friends. Now the Smiths will stay in, severe, in a Sevierville hotel for the week until they leave for their honeymoon on Friday. Their next step is figuring out where they will live. They also told me they're thankful to so many in the community who've reached out and offered help and to the first responders who battled Friday's fire. Bo. All right. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. At least they have a great attitude yes, about what's happening. Yes, they have so, each other. Exactly. So wonderful. Uh,